Sustainability has been on the minds of many as we face global environmental issues. When we think about our environmental impact, we can improve our ways of going through life. We can save resources, preserve the land, and do things more efficiently. So, what does sustainability mean to farmers? It's preserving, you know, the land, um, the soil, um, to have a healthy uh, soil and also like growing your own um, fruits and vegetables, um, uh, reducing the amount of, um, of chemicals um, that's on the air and um, uh, food um, security. You know, especially in Hawaii, that's to me uh, very sustainable because uh, we're isolated, you know, and uh, before, uh, according to research, we used to uh, import 80% of our uh, commodities. So that's why the encouraging farmers now to grow your own. Um, because in case of calamity happens, you know, at least we have something um, uh, to, to, we have food. When, when you talk about sustainable farming, you have to define, well, what is unsustainable and basically unsustainable is you're, you're putting in more than you're getting out and you're using up more resources. Um, you're paying up front for fertilizer, if in the case of animals, food. And then if on the back end, when you finally harvest your crop or to sell your animal, you're paying more money out than you're getting in, then you're just wasting your time. So the, the sustainable is the exact opposite of that. So when you have to think about, well, okay, well, where, where can I get resources, fertilizer, food that I can either get for free or make myself. When it comes to growing plants, what's very interesting is that uh, you're gonna have water input and you're gonna have fertilizer input. And those are gonna be the main costs of producing plants. So the way to mitigate that that I've learned is to use lots, lots of organic matter, such as wood chips, mulch, chopped up, uh, any organic matter. Also using animal waste, such as rabbit waste manure, uh, gets fruit fertilizer, chicken manure. Another way to provide natural fertilizer to plants is with aquaponics. Hydroponics basically doesn't use fish. Aquaponics does. And the hydroponics uses all chemical fertilizer. And aquaponics uses no chemical fertilizer. So the aquaponic system uses grow beds to put the plants in a container that water goes into. With aquaponics, you never have to dump the water unless it becomes contaminated severely for whatever reason. And the only added input to the water is iron. So you have a water-soluble organic iron fertilizer that you add to the water. And the fish actually benefit from that as well. Um, and then the fish water containing the fish waste is pumped through the container that the plants are growing in. Aquaponics can also reduce fertilizer runoff by reusing nutrient-rich water. Fertilizer runoff can be detrimental to the environment, especially if that fertilizer is getting into streams, which will cause algal blooms, which can cause deoxygenation when the algae dies and kill fish. Also, um, Pesticides are a major problem, and the pesticides are getting into our food whether we want it or not. And uh, most foods, believe it or not, have residual uh, levels of uh, glycosphates, which is commonly called Roundup. Here at Mari's Gardens, farmers use aquaponics to grow several crops but mainly lettuce. So we, we use aquaponics um, for growing lettuce, green onion, tomatoes, cucumber, and a variety of other plants. We've, we've used it for many different crops in the past, but um, right now our main thing is lettuce. 
and um, we use it for lettuce by growing fish and in a tank right now the way we do it is we have the fish in a tank and that water gets pumped to another tank that circulates independently of the fish tank and the reason why we do that is so that we can treat the lettuce with nutrient additional organic nutrients or uh, organic uh, pesticides and not have it affect the fish aquaponics is beneficial especially for hawaii because it it uses much less water because we're recirculating it to water the crop so like we estimate that it's five to ten percent of the water usage of growing lettuce the same amount of lettuce in the ground and um because in the ground when you water it it obviously just goes down into the ground and into the water uh table but here we're recapturing as much as we can and recirculating it um we have computers that read the nutrient levels and the pH so that we know we're, we're monitoring all of those things real time. Although farmers aspire to practice sustainability, it presents challenges. So being sustainable is difficult in many different facets, but one of them is one of the biggest things when it comes to a business is cost. Um, the cost of being sustainable is is high and I think it's artificially inflated right now because all of farming systems have been designed to um, they've been designed with an abundance of resources in mind you know you're not going to run out of gas you're not going to run out of water you use the water as needed but <clears throat> so that's one thing is old agricultural systems are generally not that sustainable um, and one of the reasons for that is also because it's meant for very large scale operations which we are not we're you know relatively small compared to the rest of the country and that allows us to be in my eyes more sustainable because we have more control over every detail of the business um another reason why being sustainable is difficult is because it requires a larger knowledge base or a different set of knowledge than it does just to do regular farming um and i think that there's less information available out there to do sustainable commercial farming than there is to just do farming in general those are two big things access to information and um you know the cost with inflation and the low low profitability of this project um unless you get yourself poised to reduce your expenses as much as possible, you're going to fail and you're going to end up wasting a lot of time and money just to realize in the end that you didn't calculate how much this is going to cost to do. It's always more expensive up front because the idea is to invest in infrastructure, which is a large capital outlay in the beginning, but you'll save money on the back end because you have less continuous input in the forms of fertilizer and water. What you have is, that is the definition of sustainability, is get everything else to work for you at the most cost-effective method.